Mr. President, uh, I rise today in support of this bill. I want to first thank and acknowledge uh, all those who have worked so hard uh, over so many years to bring us uh, to this point. Uh, and I want to address my remarks specifically uh, to uh, my colleagues and to those of us in the chamber today. Uh, you know, about 16 months ago, uh, we raised our hand uh, and we took an oath to the Constitution of this state, to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and to the Constitution of the United States. And that oath was to uphold and protect those values that are embedded in those sacred documents, in those sacred founding ideals of this state and of the country in which we reside. And so I'd like to ask every single member here, each of my colleagues, where do you want to stand in relation to that oath, in relation to those documents and what they mean and what they're supposed to uphold? As uh, my colleague from uh, Suffolk and Middlesex just mentioned, history is a harsh judge. But the history of civil rights in this state and frankly in this country is fairly clear. It is a slow and steady, sometimes faltering, sometimes hard struggle forward. But with each year, each bill, each debate, we do move forward. And every time we try to expand and include more people in that founding edict that all men are created equal, there is often an equal and sometimes even stronger reaction in the other way to try to constrict that founding ideal and limit and exclude those others from our founding story. And so I would just like to ask each and every person here, where do you want to be when history is the judge of that story? Where do you want your vote recorded in that story of our founding ideal that all men and women are created equal, that everyone is created equal? Where do you want to be in a year, in five years, in ten years, when you sit your grandkids on your knee and you talk about the time you represented your state, your constituents, in this sacred chamber, in this sacred body. So, I'd just like to conclude by saying, there are people, a lot of people, in our Commonwealth who are left out of that ideal that all people are created equal that we're endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights. Where do we want to be? Do we want to really say to that person who might be struggling, that person who might be contemplating harming themselves because they don't know where to turn to and they don't feel the laws on their side to protect them, do we really want to be on the side of saying that that does not apply? that we don't care, that we turn a blind eye to that expansion and that, uh, that expanding story of rights in our state. I would encourage everyone to look inside themselves and ask themselves why we're here, why we ran for office, why we do this every day, why we took that oath. My, my guess is and my hope is that like me, you did that to do something to help people, to expand that story, to expand more people into what this Commonwealth is about. And so I want to thank uh, the, um, <clears throat> my colleague from Suffolk for bringing today's, uh, today's bill forward. I want to thank all of my colleagues who have worked so hard for a very long time uh, to bring this uh, measure forward. And I would respectfully and urgently ask each person to vote yes.